Well, it's time for our first check on weather, and yesterday a little gloomy, today the sun is out. Yeah, so I guess we're probably watching, John, to see what happens uh, with the clouds and the sky and all that stuff today again. Absolutely. In fact, uh, I'm going to see if we can get our Mandy cam swung all the way around in a different direction. We are seeing some cloud development down to the south, and we still do have some uh, weather advisories down in Southern California. These are flash flood advisories, or what watches rather. Yesterday, this entire area was in that green color. No flash flood watch for our immediate forecast forecast area today and much of the cloud cover we're seeing from our visible satellite is moving up to the north and to the west but we are seeing a little bit of development over the spring mountain range and a few uh, just a few blips on the uh, visible satellite down to the south in terms of our radar not much going on right now a little a uh, few echo returns down over near Barstow along I-15 and that is about it let's go ahead and take a look at our right now conditions now as you take a look of note is the dew point temperature and the humidity and we've got enough out there where we are going to start seeing some of these head thunderheads trying to get their act together throughout the afternoon and the evening talk about how long this might hang around plus Burl and the Fredericks fact it's all coming up right now we'll send it back to Mr. Mitch and my Maria Thank you so much. Welcome back. 1220 as we fly in your forecast. Just a heads up, four gifts from our fabulous friends over at the uh, Tropicana, including tickets to see the Titanic Artifact Exhibition, tickets for the uh, legendary Follies Berger, the wonderful matinee show, The Magic of Dirk Arthur, and dinner over at the Island Buffet. All that for one correct answer. Visible satellite showing some cloud development off to the north and to the west, and we're seeing a little bit of stuff going on down to the south and also over the spring range. Let's check our right now conditions. 99 at Cody's Place over the Hump in Pahrump. 100 right uh, now here at Las Vegas out of McCarran. 102 Mesquite. 101 for Beatty. 77 up in the mountain and 108 currently for the Laughlin Bullhead City Recreational Area. Let's go ahead and talk those headlines. Uh, this morning we had a quarter moon. I caught it about an uh, hour or so time lapse from our Black Mountain camera. Kind of cool if you're not up early enough to see this. I'd love to see these every morning when I come in. And it looks like now isolated storms. By the way, this was a time lapse from Dana yesterday afternoon, for also from the Black Mountain camera. Isolated storms both today and tomorrow. And we'll put in a chance on Sunday. And uh, yep, tomorrow is going to be your final chance. Uh, Mr. Monorail already has his very own Jorvinci Code uh, t-shirt to help local homeless pets. And you can pick yours up uh, tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Monorail. Uh, at the uh, small all town dog vacation villas will be out there from uh, Jordo and me will be there uh, for uh, I'll be there Jordo and I will be there from 9 to 11 950 South Durango it'll be our last in-store event we'll still be able to get these online and again all the proceeds go to help local homeless pets 108 yesterday 105 is the average I think we're gonna hit that 108 again we've got uh, well, everybody except Lakes East uh, from our Wells Fargo weather net network is all back in the uh, triple digit range another very hot day but look what's happening right here you get the sense that something's going on right there. Let's find out what it is. Yep, thunderstorm activity. In fact, uh, we're, that's the area we're going to hone in on in just a moment. This is the uh, what's left over a tropical storm burl heading up to Nor Nova Scotia and New Brunswick at this hour. But this is the area I want to kind of focus in on. We've had severe weather. Uh, watches and warnings. Look at that, right over the top of St. Louis, and now moving over to Paducah, Louisville, Cincinnati under the gun. We actually had a tornado watch uh, just outside of St. Louis earlier, about an hour ago, and I talked about this this morning, this general area, the potential for severe weather. We're also going to see the threat of some strong storms up in Northern California in Southern uh, Oregon, and did you see Portland? High temperature today expected, 100. Two. Let's fly in the next seven days and then give you a chance to win with the Fredericks Facts. So we're going to call for isolated storms, even though it's mostly sunny out there right now, and a chance on Sunday and pretty darn hot over the next several days. All right, four gift certificates from our friends of the Tropicana. Can you tell me, please, famous park in Southern California is named for a silent film director. What park am I telling, uh, talking about? Also has a zoo in there. There's a hint for you. 657-3425. That's it. We'll send it back over to Mitch and Maria. All right, thank you, John. Welcome back. Mm, minty fresh. Ah, thank goodness we don't have smell vision Hey, let's go ahead and get you your forecast. We'll get you all the way through the next seven days and the answer and the winner of the Fredericks Fact. 
Today, 108, I think we're going to get there. We're already sitting smack dab on the century mark out of McCarran. And don't rule out these isolated storms trying to get uh, rolling on in uh, later on this afternoon. It's just taking a little longer today. Now we're seeing storm developing up in Utah, also in California. And uh, don't be surprised if Dana talks about severe storms in parts of northern California, even northern parts of the Silver State and uh, southern Oregon. We've got a real uh, interesting, uh, well, dangerous situation, we'll call it, up to the north and west of us. Two out of three ain't bad with our air quality. Let's uh, quickly tell you, uh, well, we still have one lone holdout with our Wells Fargo WeatherNet network of data. Get you up to date. Talked about these storms. Look at how that cold air forcing its way down drops those temperatures. You go from 103 in Oak City to 73 KC, 90 DC, 98. Lake 88 in Portland. Don't know if they're going to make that predicted high of 102. And yes, what's left of Burl tropical storm is really wreaking havoc with airport delays all across the northeast in New England and even back over to Chicago. That those strong thunderstorms. So uh, I've got family and friends. There is uh, there it is. Burl this racing Burl rather over Nova Scotia by this afternoon. And the wind speed starting to drop down. Early this morning, winds were still at about 60 miles per hour. So as it races up to the Canadian Maritimes, much colder uh, water, cooler water temperatures, not favorable for tropical development. 90 Tonopah, 97 Sacto, 79 in San Diego, 82 in San Francisco. It's pretty warm. Look at the dew point temperatures. Sacramento, 65, 60 in Fresno. This is what I was talking about. We could have some strong storms up here, and we can't rule them out right here as well. We still have that monsoon moisture in place. High pressure drifting a little farther to the north. And uh, it looks like the threat of storms will continue through tomorrow and will continue with a chance on Sunday. So that's pretty much about it. Let's get you through the next seven days, and we'll get you the answer in the winner of the Fredericks Fact. Here we go. So uh, it's going to be hot over the next several days. It's still going to be a bit on the sticky side, at least through Sunday. And then it looks like we'll just call it partly cloudy after that. Hey, congratulations to Robert Evangelisvi. Sorry, I hope. I hope I got that right, Roger, Robert. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Yeah, it was legendary silent film director D.W. Griffith is, has the park named after him. Probably best known for uh, Birth of a Nation. Uh, Passes for the Follies, Bears Air, the Magic of Dirk Arthur, Titanic Artifact Exposition, and Island Buffet, all at the Tropicana. That's it from here. We got to get ready to eat with Wolfgang Puck, right, Maria? Yep, but before that, we have another story. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Thanks, John, for that.